all welcome to this edition of BRM Connect Reflections i am in san antonio and we just completed the two days 2022 BRM Connect conference now this was a conference that i attended after two long years and uh, it was a very refreshing experience so i'm going to talk about a quick snapshot of what happened in the last 2 to 3 days of brm connect this was a hybrid model based on the previous experience that they had at philadelphia last year so we had about 175 people who attended the session uh, live uh, in person and about 125 people in virtual mode so there was live streaming done for all the speakers so people who couldn't make it in person were still able to collect their information from the uh, chat options and they had a lot of uh fun throughout the whole uh two days that they had first the venue was jack winter pavilion at the brisco and prior to the start of the conference which happened on october 4th they kick started the knowledge offerings of brmp and uh, strategic partnering and high performing brm and on day uh, on monday which was on 3rd of october they invited all the brms to go on a side tour to university of texas in san antonio where jake and ashley were expressing their entire brm journey and that was really a heartening experience and i was there with them and uh, they were able to share more details on the demand management um aspects and um, so it was a good experience to talk with fellow uh, brms and it is also very important to note that most of the people who attended the brm connect there was a higher amount of people under higher education so that was something which was a notable one um so it was split into two sessions and they also had a lot of fun in uh, area weather wise it was absolutely pleasant it was about 93 degree um fahrenheit so it was brilliant and uh, we had some great sunshine throughout the the three days um we had the people uh, come over a uh, little earlier so unlike the normal way that we start off at a 9 o'clock on a mon- uh, on a tuesday the first two hours of tuesday which is on fourth was more on getting to know each other so it was more at a, a sponsor hangout we as top solutions were a sponsor and one of the things that we brought in this time was the force a crime solving case uh, where people should go there to the entire city map and then find out and solve cases so this was a very uh, good experience for a lot of people and they enjoyed the uh, solving of cases together as a team and uh, then we started off the sessions at 11 o'clock and the way i the way the the whole uh, episode was arranged in day 1 was we had keynote speaker jeff warren kick start us on brm the future is now we also had a panel discussions between parsons to look at building internal and external relationships and it was um based out equally that um there were four speakers on total about seven speakers so two parallel tracks and uh, people had to choose the general session was common for everybody but other than that there were three speakers for day 1 in one track and three speakers in day 2 day 1 on the another track so i had an opportunity to talk about partnerships to drive sustainable growth which was 
it was a well received topic because a lot of people were wondering about okay we have a, a a partnership in place how do you make it more sustainable what are some of the tips and tricks so we also did a kind of an exercise or a template for people to uh, put some discovery of their existing partners and then add on to uh, improving themselves um so that was on day 1 and at end of day 1 we also had um an opportunity to be at the global excellence awards in the evening um i am so happy uh, to say that adelaide uh, really who was part of from australia won the trail blazer award at um, in purpose of evolution so it was very heartening to see someone travel all the way for about 22 hours i mean 36 hours to come there and uh, there was a, a, a good uh, participation from uh, a global audience i also want to highlight that elka uh, won the army award based on her experience and involvement with the brm institute for so many years and we uh, congratulate all the global excellence award winners uh, who were announced on day 1 on day 2 uh, we started off again with some of the sessions um, on how to advance the brm capability how to intersect between service business relationship and product management which i think was a very well received uh, aspect with lian uh, from purdue um, did and we also saw um, the um, aspect of collaboration as a strategy test from hub international did a fantastic presentation of how they worked with cross functional teams and with a lot of acquisitions and mergers happening around how do we focus on building collaboration as a strategy remember in uh, philadelphia event in 2021 uh, she was explaining the phase 1 of collaboration as a strategy so she did a good recap and uh, it was well received uh, as part of the session so it was a great two days uh, 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 event and we had a lot of uh, fireside chats we had um, um conversations on brm launch um we have uh, a speed dating where people could actually introduce themselves in 3 minutes um and it was it was it was kind of fun because it was not all about speaking sessions there were a lot of engagements people took time to go to um the hangouts and uh, interact with people and uh, one of the strikingly important observation that i had was there were more than 60% of the people were first timers and that means that it was very evident that the role of brms are emerging to a greater extent and uh, they all would want to equip themselves and um, brm institutes is the go forward direction what we also did and you would have observed this previously that we did a a, a live linkedin live session with um, Ashley and uh, Jake from the University of Texas in San Antonio about their journey uh, of uh, building BRM so it was really well received and I along with Keith Sutherland went and spoke about because it was his first time uh, involvement at the BRM uh, Connect conference and he was he was sharing about his best practices and lessons learned so overall it was a great experience and I should uh call out brian uh, who has been always the pillar of uh, energy uh, where he takes us along we did a boat ride on the in the river walk and uh, we also had a lot of fun in the bar in the museums um so it was a good holistic experience people also had time to go to the uh, outside trip towards alamo um the um, river walk um the marketplace so it's a it's a such a fascinating uh, city here Uh, where people had um good open areas to go there and and uh, uh, walk around um and it 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 really emphasized that the brms are really good extroverts so one of the things that keith sutherland mentioned was uh this is one conference where you look at all it professionals being uh, extroverts so that was the level of energy and i was personally gratified with the way um i saw Uh, a lot of people coming in sharing their learnings um 
and uh, it was uh, one single tribe where we are all much more energized in how things were working i'm very happy that um, i got an opportunity to be a storyteller i had a lot of coaching sessions one on one with people um, that was good to uh, contribute back and we were also a um, silver sponsor as top solutions and uh, we did the sponsor hangout and gave them goodies and uh, we took a lot of pictures and as you would presume when i'm there i like to uh, get a, a memory of every um, uh, uh, play game that we played and it was a fantastic experience overall um, we really enjoyed the uh, last 3 days and uh, one of the exciting things that i'm looking forward is uh, the next year because by next year we will be into our 10th year of brm institute anniversary so this is going to happen uh, at the root which is at portland oregon where it all began in 2013 so uh, 10 years from what brm institute has started it's been a delightful journey and uh, i have been associated with the brm institute since 2015 as a regional leader for asia pacific and now as a community leader and my uh, wish is to make this conference a global conference so it is not just about people from north america coming in i want to see more people so i saw people this time from uk sara uh, for had come over we had adelaide from australia we had ibrahim from uh, middle east ibrahim and his team from sabik had come so we want to see more people um, uh, beyond just the um, north american audience and i hope uh, 10th year will be special and we will be there and we hope that you can all join us and celebrate the world of brm so with that i wish uh, all the single global brm community members um a heartfelt thanks for being there either physically or virtually and big kudos to the entire brm institute's um, uh, tribe uh, who went about that extra mile marlene andrea was excellent as an mc alan was um the man behind the entire uh, episode of crafting it um a lot of people have worked strenuously hard to put up a great show and uh, the hospitality was outstanding and i thoroughly feel that um it's going to be even bigger when we meet uh, next time in portland oregon so stay tuned for more updates about the brm institute become a member uh, involve yourself in community because there is a lot of plans as we move forward um so there are exciting times ahead so uh, as you know uh, the brmp has now evolved into a new brmp and uh, we are going to have bridge course for people who have already completed the brmp prior to uh, 2021 2022 to uh, the new version and also there is a course development on cbrm happening around um so it's a lot of exciting times to be in in and you should be able to see us um move forward um in a right direction so with that i uh, thank everybody for taking this time to uh, watch this episode and i hope you got some takeaways on what happened in brm connect so watch us on linkedin um youtube and uh, our posts and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, soon in our next um, episode thank you so much